Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another DC deck building game. This is for Confrontations. Uh, this is the big box um, standalone set. It's like a sequel to the Rival set. So we had Rivals, Joker vs. Batman, and then Sinestro vs. Green Lantern, which lets you play the deck building game. Um, same way you play any other game, with a little twist to it, is that each player um, attacks the other, another player in a one-on-one -on -one match, uh, versus fighting a nemesis, um, or a stack of nemesis. You have to defeat each player three times with increasing costs. Um, the confrontations adds eight more characters, so rather than keep releasing small box, small box, small box, they gave us all the biggies. So, of course, we get Superman versus Lex Luthor, Wonder Woman versus Ceres, uh, Aquaman versus Ocean Master, and then on the far outside, we have Zantana versus Felix Faust. Um, I think it's because people would have probably picked up Batman, Batman and Lex Luthor without a problem. They might have picked up Wonder, Ma Wonder Woman and Ceres um, just because of Wonder Woman. Aquaman, Ocean Master, eh, maybe. Some people like Aquaman, you know, you know, people don't really know Ocean Master as well. I think the Zantana, Felix Faust would have only really hit hardcore uh, or specific DC characters, but it's a great way to add them all in here. Um, the other fun thing is now if you have the other two sets or the upcoming, like, Flash versus Reverse Flash, um, which is why you haven't seen him yet, you can switch and swap them all out. You can play 2v2. You can play 3 versus 1. Um, bunch of different stuff now that you can do it now that you have all these characters. Um, so you're going to have 3 starting characters instead of just 1 like you normally would. Uh, and they're at various costs on the bottom. 9, 12, and 15. For how many points your opponent needs to beat. So if they beat your level 9, then you upgrade your level 2, which is your 12 cost. You beat that, you upgrade your level 3. You lose all 3, you lose the game. Um, otherwise, you start here punches and vulnerabilities like normal. Um, we have a lineup just like we would in any other game. We have the weakness stack. Instead of kicks, we have enhanced strength, which we'll look at that in a little bit. Um, outside of that, the game plays basically the same. You play your cards, you purchase stuff. The um, big difference is the conf confronting your opponent which is called confrontation which is where this game gets its name from is during your turn you have the option of either doing all your stuff like normal um playing your cards buying stuff or you can announce that you're doing a confrontation um against an opponent um and here it's saying against the lowest cost if you're playing multiple you have to pick on the smallest character first um but then when you announce a confrontation, um, you have to try and defeat your opponent. But then you can't do any of the other stuff. Um, you can't buy or buy any other cards. Uh, and then also what happens is there's a new, new keyword in here as well called block. Um, so a lot of these cards will have blocks. So if you do a regular attack, a lot of villain cards have attacks, you can play a defense card to stop it, discard it to avoid the attack. Blocks work only for confrontation. So when someone plays a confrontation, so example, if I'm Superman and I'm confronting Lex Luthor and I need to do 9 power, I play all my cards and I play 10 power worth of cards, so I am beating him. Then he has a chance to play block cards, which can increase his number. If he can increase it over mine, then he, he survives. I have nothing I can do against it. So that's why you want to make sure if you are confronting a point, you don't just go for the exact number. Um, so if they have 9 cost, you probably want to try and play like 11 or 12. Just to guarantee your opponent can't play blocked cards, but they could still play multiple um, to stop them. So it's kind of a fun little back and forth there. Um, there's another new card in, uh, ability card in here we'll look at in just a moment. Um, so there's also some variants here. We have 2 versus 3. So you can play 1v1 and have uh, four separate different decks or mix and match them. Um, or we have two and three player games not feature any partnerships. It's everyone for themselves. So this way now you can play against each other. Um, so it's kind of a fun different way to do that. So you can either play 
1v1, you can have 2v2, you can have Superman, Wonder Woman team, teaming up against Lex Luthor and uh, Ceres. Or, you could play two or three players against each other. Um, and then you can attack whoever and see who's left. Um, so, so there's assist cards, which are the new ability to you play cards. They work a little bit differently, and I'm not going to go over too many of them. Uh, too much that, you can read that if you get the game. Um, and it says mixing with other sets. So if you want to mix them with Batman and the Joker, um, in here instead, all you do is then you pull out one of the other sets of characters and you add in the new sets. Is all you have to do. Um, it just says each one of the main characters of the set will find a symbol that corresponds to the player character. Um, the Batman Joker set, if you watch my video for that, you'll see, you know, I kind of explained this in there too. They they don't currently have symbols on them, uh, but the reprinted or later versions will. Um, but it says, so if you want you want Wonder Woman and Batman from Rivals to team up, you can take up all the Aquaman or Zankana cards and replace them with an equal number of cards from Rivals. Um, so, so basically you want to take out one version of character to add in another version. Um, just in that way, um... It makes, just so you're not getting too hard. It does say in here, um, it's recommended you always leave Superman and Lex with their cards, because those are the majority of ally cards in the set. Um, yeah, so some different stuff there. Clarifications. Um, I just see if I had a mention of. Yeah, so this has, uh, Here's all the different symbols, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Zankana, Zatara, Lex Luthor, Ceres, Ocean Master, and Felix Faust. Um, so it says when you're playing a game, it says, Quest two teams of two players, one side for each. Um, choose a teammate, and then each you choose a character which you want to play. Uh, take each of your three oversized character cards, place them in front of you. So basically what this is saying though is, so the Batman and Joker have um, more cards, or green, the, the solo sets have a few more cards than each of these characters do. So if you just played Superman, you'd have to add one of the other characters. If you want to do a 1v1 Superman versus Lex Luthor, you'd have to add the Superman cards, the Lex Luthor cards, but then you'd have to include at least two other characters worth of cards. Otherwise there's not going to be enough cards in the deck to play um, and then if you are adding, like, one of the other characters, you're actually going to be adding extra cards to the deck, which is going to make you a little bit bigger. So that's kind of the difference there. They made them, they made these decks a little bit smaller, uh, so they could accommodate, um, having four characters. So each two characters essentially makes one deck, um, compared to the other characters. Alright, so let's look at some of our cards. So first, before we look at the hero cards, we're just going to do a quick run through of the basic stuff. So we, of course, have all of our punch cards. Um, and there's enough there for two players. Um, and there's enough there for two because these are the superhero ones. Um, and then we will have a set of vulnerability cards. Which also have a hero on them. And then we have the punches for the villain side and the vulnerability for the villain side. Um, does it matter which ones you use with which? No. If they get mixed up and Superman's playing with the Lex Luthor vulnerability, it's not going to hurt anything. Um, they just, I think, kind of did it to make the game a little bit more thematic. Um, then, of course, we have our deck of weakness cards, which are all the same regardless of which character they didn't make. Hero versus villain weaknesses. And then the last kind of basic starter card we have are the enhanced strengths. So these replace your kick cards. Um, if you are mixing in uh, multiplayer with like the Batman set or the Green Lantern, you can use either the kicks from also use the kicks from Green Lantern or or from, sorry from Batman, or you can use the hard light constructs from Green Lantern. And you can add all of them together with these to give you more options. Um, so this has plus one power, where the kicks and stuff normally have two. But it says if you play this from your hand, one additional power. So that's basically the same. Um, 
The difference is you also have the assist card, which the assist ability lets you play a card during another player's turn. Um, this is a really fun aspect. This could be really helpful if you're playing, if you mix these in with your crisis sets. Um, in the regular games, that could also be a fun. So assist, um, find many cards in a set. Means you may play this card during your teammate's turn. If you do that, that player gains all benefits from the game text on this card. If you play an assist with plus two power, your teammate gets that power. If you assist cards to draw a card, they draw a card, not you. Uh, if it references your discard pile, such as counting the number of superpowers, uh, it it refers to the active player's discard pile, not the assisting player's. Um, also, it says since the active player did not actually play the card, do they not get any bonuses saying they played that type of card, color, name, or set? So, um, like this one says, if you played it from your hand, you get two. So if I played this, on my turn for myself, it's worth two, like a kick would be. But if I give it to an opponent, or not an opponent, a teammate, they could gain one extra power. Um, which, could be, which could definitely help them. Hey, I need one more power to beat this guy, or to buy this card, or do whatever. So that's kind of a fun little extra thing to do. I would probably even just include them um, in any of my other games from now on. Because why not have a different option to do, oh, do I want a kick card? Or do I want, I might even just replace those, my kick cards with those. Because they're potentially the same as a kick. They give you plus two power. Um, but I have the option of doing other stuff. The only difference is a kick is a superpower. Which lots of times can benefit from that. Alright, so let's look at our characters. And then we'll go through the rest of the decks. Um, here we have Superman level one. Uh, at the start of each of your cards, you may add the top card of the main deck to the lineup. So you can keep making that lineup bigger. Uh, level 2. At the start of each of your turns, if you have fewer than 5 cards in your hand, draw a card. And level 3. Each time you or your teammates declares a confrontation, drop the 2 cards and then discard that many cards. So it's also neat about lots of these characters is they generally don't have a confrontation ability until their third card. So the first two could be used easily in other games. Um, just that third one that has that confrontation ability. We have Wonder Woman here. Uh, the first time you buy or gain a defense or block card during each of your turns, you may destroy a card in your teammate's discard pile. Uh, plus one power for each defense and block card you play during your turn. Once during a confrontation, you may discard defense. If you do, add two to a character's cost this turn. And confrontation, each time you play a defense or block this turn, draw a card. We got the King of Atlantis. We have Aquaman, Arthur Curry. Each time you draw a card from the lineup, during each of your turns, gain a card of that type of a lower cost from the lineup. Once during each of your turns, plus one power for each seven cards in your discard pile. And confrontation. During each year, once during your turn, plus two power for every seven cards in your discard pile. I like the seven with the seven oceans kind of theme. Uh, and then Zantana Zantara is our magician. You may put each hero you buy or gain on the top of any player's deck. Once during each of your turns, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, discard any number of them, put the rest back on the top in any order. And then her final one is, you may look at the top card of your deck at any time. Each time you or your teammate plays a hero during a confrontation, you may discard the top card of your deck. So yeah, some fun different abilities. Those are our heroes. We're going to look at all the hero cards first, and then we will come back and look at all the villains. So we're going to go through Superman's cards first. So Superman has Gimme Olsen, Assist and plus one power. Uh, Lang -a Lang, Assist and if this is the first card played this turn, discard your hand other and draw four cards, otherwise plus one power. Crypto, draw a card. Defense, may discard just to avoid an attack. If you do, put an assist card from your discard pile into your hand or draw pile. Steel, plus two power, confrontation, add plus one power for each equipment in your discard pile. Lois Lane, draw a card, 
confrontation. Reveal a card from your teammate's hand that changes this, this turn. Toy Master. Assist putting equipment from the discard pile in your hand. Superboy. Assist put a superpower. Play a superpower you control again. Supergirl. Assist plus two power. You may destroy a card in the lineup if you do replace it. Then we have two copies of Cold Breath for a superpower. Uh, plus three power. Confrontation. You may destroy a card in your hand, your discard pile, and or the lineup. He's got two copies of an equipment card. The Phantom Zone Projector. Assist. You may destroy a card in your discard pile. And then he's got one location. The Daily Plan. Ongoing. You pay one less to buy assist cards in your lineup. So Superman has a lot of the assist cards. Uh, which is why they recommended keeping his deck in there. Up next we got Wonder Woman. Her uh, her heroes are Steve Trevor. Uh, plus one power. Defense, you may reveal a card from your hand of just attack if you discard a card. Uh, Hepatius? Uh, plus two power, block, and you discard this card during a confrontation. If you do, add one to a character's cost this turn for each equipment in your discard pile. Donna Troy, plus one power and draw a card. Defense, you may reveal this card from your hand of laying attack. If you do, discard a card. Uh, Hermes, plus two power. You may put a defense and or block card from your discard pile on top of your deck. Hera. Uh, confrontation. Draw two cards. Your teammates draw one card. Otherwise, plus two power. Orion. Plus two power and draw a card. Block. You may discard this card during a confrontation. If you do, add one to a character's cost this turn for each hero in your discard pile. And then finally, Ares. Plus three power. Block. You may discard this during a confrontation. Add two to a character's cost and draw two cards. She's got a couple of superpowers. She's got two copies of Flight, Assist, draw a card, and two copies of Strength of the Gods. Plus two power with block, discard this during complication, add two to a cost, uh, and destroy a card in your hand or discard pile. She's got some equipment. She's got two copies of Magical Bracelets. Uh, plus two power, block, and you discard this card during a confrontation, if you do, add two character costs this turn. And then one location, Themyscira. Ongoing. Each time you discard a block card from your hand, draw a card. And then we got Aquaman. Aquaman's heroes are Tula. Plus one power and additional plus two if you have one or more superpowers in your discard pile. Tempest. Plus two power, confrontation. Reveal the top card of your team's deck. You may destroy any number of cards revealed this way. Yawara. Uh, plus one power and additional plus two if you have one or more equipment in your discard pile. The others, which is his team. Um, plus one power, defense. You may discard this card to draw in any number of other cards to avoid an attack. If you do, draw cards equal to the number of cards you discarded this way. Mira. Confrontation. Plus one power for each different card in your discard pile. Plus two power. So it's like, um, uh, Wonder Woman had a lot of stuff with blocking and, uh, defense cards. Superman had a lot of assets. Um, Aquaman here is playing around with his discard pile a lot. Um, so just different flavors on how you want to play your characters. We have Poseidon. Assist, plus two power, you may put your deck into your discard pile. Got some superpowers. It's got two copies of Telepathy. Um, plus two power, you may discard a card if you do draw a card. We got one copy of Impervious, unless the other one got mixed up somewhere else. Which is very possible, but it might not because it is a level 7 or seven cost card. So plus 2 power, defense, you may reveal this card from your hand to avoid an attack. If you do, destroy a card in your hand or discard pile. 
His equipment, he's got two crowns of Galactus. Plus one power for each card with a cost of one, two, three, and four. You have played this turn. Um, and then two copies of the Trident of Neptune. Plus one power with Confrontation. Additional plus power equal to your character's level. And then finally, Amnesty Bay. Ongoing. Once during each of your turns, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Put one of the put the lowest card cost reveal this way into your hand and discard the rest. And our final hero will be stuff for Zantana. So it's like magical characters. Uh, Dead Man. Plus two power. Name a non-starter card type and then reveal the top card of your deck. If you use the name type, additional plus two power. Ragman. Plus two power. Name a non-starter type and reveal the top card of your deck. If there's a name type, you may destroy a card in your hand or discard pile. Blue Devil. Plus two power with defense. Make discard just to avoid an attack. If you do put a card from your discard pile on top of your deck or draw a card. So this has to all do with manipulation of cards on the top of your deck. Uh, Magum Xanadu, plus two power. Uh, name a non starter card type, then reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a name type, draw it. John Constantine, plus two power with confrontation. Additional plus one power for each villain in your discard pile. Animal Man. Assist plus one power for each different non-starter type you play or have played this turn. Dr. Fate. Plus three power. You may put any number of cards you buy or gain this turn on top of your deck. And then Swamp Thing. Assist plus three power. You control your teammates' locations this turn. And then she's got two copies of Superpower. She has... Pots, which is the way her abilities, superpowers actually work. She can cast spells, but she has to say them backwards. This is actually stop. Uh, draw a card. Block and they discard this card during a confrontation. If you do add one to the character's cost this turn. And then she has Tegroff, or forget. Plus two power, attack. Each foe puts a card from their hand on top of their deck. She's got one equipment, the Book of Magic. Plus three power. Look at the top three cards of your deck. You may discard any number of them, put the rest back in any order. Um, she does not get a location though, however. I don't know why they didn't just, they usually only have six um, in a set. I don't know why they didn't just include um, the additional two and have eight. Um, maybe we'll throw in the balance of the deck off, but it would have made more sense. All right, let's look at our villains. Let's start with good old Lex Luthor. Um, discard a non-starter asset card. Draw two cards, usable only once per turn. Uh, that makes sense. Disposable allies. Uh, plus one power for each non-starter asset you play this turn. So this is not including them enhanced strengths. Um, confrontation. Draw a card for each non-starter asset you card you played this turn. Series is going to get you may put each villain you buy or gain on top of any player's deck uh, She has a confrontation when you play the first card during each of your turns you may catch this confrontation and buy cards as usual uh, So it's actually kind of fun. She can choose to play a confrontation but Then she can uh, change her mind if she would like So she could play a, I'm going to confront you, play a draw card. Oh, I drew a weakness and not a plus three card. All right, never mind, I'm going to back out. So it's kind of a neat um, thing. Uh, once during each player's turn, a confrontation card in your hand has asset. So that's fun. We have Ocean Master. At the end of each of your turns, if you bought or gained two or more cards this turn, you may destroy a card in this player's turn. Now, I know Ocean Master is a big uh, Aquaman villain, and I wonder if part of this had to do with the movie coming out, but I'm still surprised they didn't use Black Manta. I think he's more of the iconic Aquaman villain. Um, but that's just me. Ocean Master, during each year turns, you may put a card with a cost of three or less from your discard pile into your hand. And Confrontation, plus one power for each non-starter card with a cost of two, three, or four, you play this turn. 
Uh, sort of the same thing with Wonder Woman. That series is kind of a neat to neat pull. Um, still wondering why they didn't maybe go with like Chiga, who would have maybe been um, more of an iconic villain for her. But maybe I can also see like, at least with her versus series versus uh, Chiga, I can see where series might have some more different superpowers or abilities because she, you know, does some magic and stuff like that versus Chiga just you know, having strength and speed. But you could have definitely had some cards to go with it. Uh, then finally we have Felix Faust, who's a magician. Uh, to go against Zantana. Once during each year turns, you may gain a weakness from the weakness stack. If you do, plus two power. So this is fun. He's going to play the weakness cards. Um, to level 2 is at the start of each of your turns, you may choose it left or right. If you do, each player passes a card in their hand to the player in that direction. And then his third form is weakness cards you play have plus one power. Confrontation. Once during your turn, draw a card for each player with one or more weakness cards in their discard pile. So that's fun. So he gets to play around with weakness, Ocean Master, um... Just has some, like, he's kind of more generic. He has some different effects. Sirius gets to mess around with the confrontation, stopping the villains, and Lex Luthor likes to play with his assets. And we'll see more of that with their other cards. So Lex Luthor villains are going to be... So again, these will be, um... We're like the hero cards are more tailored, like, directly towards the heroes. The villains are kind of more, um... The villains of the heroes. These are more Superman villains versus... Joke or versus Lex Luthor allies. Um, she has Silver Banshee plus two power confrontation attack that foe gains a weakness. Uh, Parasite plus two attack or plus two power confrontation additional plus one power for each superpower in your discard pile. Amazo plus two power confrontation additional plus one power for each hero in your discard pile. Metallo, assist, playing equipment you control again. Phaedra, or, or Fedora, um, Feora, sorry, I keep, it looks like a D. Feora, uh, this is one of the Kryptonians. Uh, assist, plus one power, and then draw a card. Zod, of course, everyone knows Zod. Assist, put a superpower from your discard pile into your hand. Bizarro. Assist. You may draw a card. If you do, draw an additional card. Doomsday. Assist. Plus two power. You may destroy a card in your discard pile. Then we have one copy of Scientific Genius Superpower. Uh, plus three power if they block. You may discard this card during a confrontation. If you do reveal your hand, you add the VP value when they reveal cards to a character's cost this turn. He's going to have some equipment, two copies of Power Armor, uh, Assist, and plus two power. Two copies of Kryptonite, plus two power, attack each bow who does not discard a weakness, gains a weakness. And one copy of the Amazo Virus. Uh, confrontation, draw three cards, then destroy one of them. Otherwise, plus two power. And then he'll gain a location, which is Lex Corps. I'm not really sure why Aquaman's standing outside of it. Um... I think you could have probably got a better picture. Ongoing at the start of your turn, you may put a non-starter asset card from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck. Okay, then we have Wonder Woman's enemies. We have Giganta. Uh, draw a card, defense. You may discard this card to avoid an attack. If you do, put a confrontation card from your discard pile in your hand or draw a card. Cheetah. Plus two power block. He discard this during a confrontation. If you do add to that character's cost this turn and put a confrontation card in your discard pile on top of your deck. Artemides. Plus two power confrontation attack. That will discards a block card. Strife. When you're filling your hand in your turn, draw two additional cards. Choose a foe attack. That foe must declare a confrontation on their next turn. Firstborn, confrontation, destroy a card in your hand or discard pile, plus two power, 
equal to cost, otherwise power plus two. Magog, plus three power for confrontation. You may change the foe you are confronting. And Apollo, put a card from your discard pile into your hand. Confrontation, put the additional card from your discard pile in your hand. So two copies of the superpower, Mystic Control. Uh, plus two power, attack, look at the top card of each foe's deck. You may discard any number of them. And two copies of Illusion. Assist, draw cards, confrontation. You may immediately cancel this confrontation and buy cards as usual. That's actually really fun to have on a regular card. And then Olympus. Ongoing confrontation. Once during your turn, draw a card and then discard a card. So she plays around a lot with the confrontation stuff. Then we have Aquaman villains. We have the Trench. Uh, plus one power. If you play or have played two non-starter cards at the same cost this turn, draw a card. King Shark. The top card of your deck. Discard or destroy it. Block. You may discard this card during a confrontation. If you do, plus one to a character cost this turn. And you may destroy one card in your hand or discard pile. Siren. Gain a card with a cost of five or less from the lineup. And put it in any player's discard pile. Black Manta, plus two power. If you have, have played, if you play or have played an equipment this turn, you may destroy a card in your hand or discard pile. Nearest, plus two power. Attack each bow discards a card at a cost of four or less. Uh, Chimera, or Chimera, depending on how you want to say it. Uh, Confrontation, plus one power for each different. Name cards the monkey play or have played this turn. Otherwise, plus one power. Atlan. Uh, draw a card. Confrontation, plus one power for each card you draw or have drawn this turn. Then we have a superpower. We have two copies of Water Control. Um, plus two power. Defense. You may discard a card to avoid an attack. If you do, put up to two cards with a combination cost of three or less from your discard into your hand. Two copies of Globe of Transportation. Reveal the top three cards in the main deck. Gain a card with the lowest cost. Put, put it into your hand. Destroy the rest. Uh, two copies of Dead King Scepter. Uh, plus two power. Choose a foe. Attack that foe. Discard your location they control. And then the Deep. Ongoing. Discard a card with cost X. Put any number of non-starter cards in your discard pile with a com combined cost of X or less into your hand. Use only once per turn. Alright, then our final group of characters are our magic users. We have the Creeper. Uh, plus one power and plus one additional power for each weakness you discard in your discard pile that you have played or have played this turn. Uh, Black Briar Thorn, plus two power. If you have played a superpower this turn, you may destroy a card in your hand or discard pile. Dr. Destiny, plus two power. Defense, you may discard this card to avoid an attack. If you do, draw two cards, then put one card from your hand on top of your deck. Clarion, plus two power. Block, you may discard this card during a confrontation. If you do, add one to a character's cost during each of the superpowers in your discard pile. Entragon. Uh, plus two power. I'm surprised they didn't have Jason Blood on the other side. Um, but anyhow, plus two power. Block. Discard this card during a confrontation. You may add one cost to the character. Your opponent will pay for each villain in your discard pile today. Okay, um, let me try this one again. Discard this card during a confrontation you may. Add one cost to a character an opponent will pay for each villain in your discard pile today. Um, I forgot. Entragon is a rhyming demon. And that's why I was just reading this instead of rhyming it. So discard this card. Um, to add one cost to a character opponent uh, for each villain in the discard pile. Uh, Enchantress. Draw a card, confrontation, that foe reveals the top card of their deck, plus power equal to the revealed card's cost. And Eclipso. Assist, a hero or villain of the lineup, 
Uh, when it leaves play, destroy it. We have one magic card. We have two copies of Dark Arts. Assist, put a card from your discard pile on top of your deck. Uh, two copies of Trident of Lucifer. Uh, plus two power, block, and you discard this card during a confrontation. If you do, add your character's level to that character's cost to this turn and draw a card. And then two copies of the Black Diamond. Confrontation that full reveals their hand, plays a reveal, non-ongoing card, and when that card leaves, play return. Otherwise, power plus two. Um, yeah, so that's super fun there. Um... All right, that is what we have for confrontations. So yeah, you're getting uh, some new heroes, some new villains. Um, again, they could have released these in bigger decks with um, four copies of each, uh, with like two, 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 two. Um, but then you also would have ran into that kind of issue of, you know, who do you make for Aquaman or, or not I mean maybe Aquaman, but some of the bad guys. How do you make enough characters for all them? So doing these little half decks is kind of a neat way um, of doing this. So I just kind of want to like point this out here. So this, for example, is Sinestro's deck. Um, and this is Green Lantern's deck. So you can see they're about the same size. Now, if I take... Superman's deck. That's all the cards I have for Superman. So if I combine Superman and um, Wonder Woman, I'm a lot, a lot closer. It's not 100% the same, but it's a lot closer. Now if I took Aquaman and Zantana's deck and I combined them, you can see how they're roughly about the same size. I think these characters can have a little bit more but not as much as, not necessarily more than two other characters. Um, I mean, some of it's also because they have, each have two locations, there's two extra cards that the other characters might not have, um, and little things like that. So, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of a neat thing. So, I mentioned during, at the end of the, if you watch it, the Green Lantern Snatch reveal, I said it would be really cool if they made another big box set like this uh, versus maybe some of the small ones. Like, again, some small ones work really well, like Flash versus Reverse Flash, because there's enough Flash villains. Uh, you can make a full set with those easily. Um, I don't mind that, but I said the Green Lantern would have been cool if they made a small set like this where you would have these little half decks here. So then you could have the other Lantern Corps, uh, Red, uh, Red Lantern with Atrocitus, Yellow, or, uh, sorry, not Yellow, uh, Violet with Silver Sapphire, um, Indigo with the Indigo Tribe, Indigo One, uh, Blue Lanterns with, uh, Saint Walker, um, yeah, and then some, some different characters, and then, uh, just Lara Fleas would be the last one, um, with Orange Lantern. And then you can also have like, a Black Lantern deck. So someone could play Black Hand with that. And that could even be, like, a cool boss mode to the game. Um, because you could have, like, one of the small half decks that's, that's, so he could play it. Then you could have, like, an extra size deck, um, to make him, like, a full deck for having more Black Lantern characters that could get added in. Like, that'd be kind of a neat aspect as well. Um, you can have maybe a little White Lantern deck if you wanted with Kyle Rain. How Rainier or whoever is a White Lantern. So there's plenty of different opportunities. You can have even more, some alternate cards to the other character decks as well. Um, they could throw into like, oh, here's four main characters. Here's four other like extra cards to add on to the other sets. But as you've been sitting here playing this, or not playing this, but going through this, these cards are saying, there'd be some other really cool opportunities with with uh, other Justice League characters to do this. Um, Earth 3, because you have a villain set. So you can have, like, the Earth 3 villains versus some other heroes. Um, some of the Justice uh, Justice Society characters, the Teen Titans. Um, definitely Teen Titans would be cool. Like, four Teen Titans. Um, you know, Robin, Starfire, Cyborg, 
Beast Boy, like you know, but you have Raven. Um, you could have so many different ones you could do stuff with. It'd be hard to make sure they don't cross over with these characters too much. You could definitely do some fun, interesting stuff with these confrontations, especially having the little half decks. Um, so I almost, I know they're releasing Flash versus Reverse Flash. I would almost hope that what they would do is release more sets like this, where I have a lot more characters to play as versus one big set. Because um, there's going to be a lot of new characters. It's going to be hard to get enough um, allies and stuff like, you know, again, Batman, Flash, and Green Lantern. You have solo books. You can do it. You could have done it with Superman as well easily. Um, but, yeah, I think the other characters, it would be a lot harder to do that with. Um, but, yeah, we'll see what they come out in the future. Uh, see you guys in the next